I really like this angle. This thing looks pretty cool. Let's have a little fun today. I've been wanting to do a video on like just like a crispy b-roll of coffee making in a french press. So today let's do just that. The backstory, got my brother some Death Wish coffee and the bean form, got him a grinder, a whole nine yards because he had just gotten a French press for Christmas too from my mom. So I, I did like a, a little photo shoot of the coffee because it's coffee and coffee looks great when you photograph it. Ever since then I've been wanting to do a video of some crispy b-roll of coffee making. From beginning to end coffee making but I also wanted to have some fun with it and limit the usage of music and make some sound design for the video too. A lot of times video makers will use music as a crutch and forget sound design and I've done that in the past. I've done that in the past and I like call anyone out and be like I'm better than you. I've been wanting to get a little better with it. So let's have some fun and make some coffee. Even if it doesn't turn out that great, I'll have some coffee. So. Let's get started. So I got the kitchen cleaned, spot we're gonna be filming. And now I'm gonna go get some lights, or a light. Thought I've got in the garage right now. So we got the filming done, we've got the coffee, coffee is made, shout out to Canada, some of my favorite people are Canadian. Now it's time to one, find some music, two, edit it, now before like, like I said, I want to do more sound design this one, so I want to have some music that is a little calmer and allows for more sound effects and sound design with it. Which is why I've got, got my water bottle, a coffee cup empty, and then the coffee for that. Those are just like the expected sounds and then we'll go a little, have a little fun with that and do some more experimental stuff. First step, we're going to edit the video. I'll be back when I get kind of like a rough outline. A necessity for editing. I got the video edited mostly. Now it's time to do the sound design. It's one minute video, may make it even shorter than that. What we're gonna do right now is just make the sounds we know we're gonna use. So, sounds like the coffee, like water being poured into a cup, and then boiling water. So, let's switch the angles and get started. Okay, we've got set up here. I'm going to get this microphone into Audition, record it on there, and let's get started. Most important step is putting your headphones on to make sure that what you are recording is sounding okay. This is some really nice ASMR here. Start recording. We want a really hot signal for this so we can get a clean audio signal. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the coffee falling noise. Grab some of these coffee beans here.
We've got some nice slams going. Real quick, and let's just go. And then one exactly like it is in the video. So we've got all the coffee noises now. This is really nice ASMR. Next, what we're going to do is we are going to make some pouring sounds as well as some boiling water. Fill it up a little too much for what we need. So I've got water in the cup, I've got my straw, I'm gonna blow through the straw, and then later in the editing I'm going to pitch that down, maybe add a little bit of reverb. I've got the, the main sounds that I need. Next, what I'm going to do is make the whooshes. We all know what I'm talking about. It's very iconic in B-roll, the whoosh sound. <sighs> to do that, I'm actually going to use my voice and make the whoosh sound. And then later in post-processing, I'm going to edit that sound to where I want it to be. I need another sound, so. Let's see if that works. And there we go, uh, we did it. Here is the final version right now. We did it. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. How can I improve your thoughts on what I made? Just let me know. See you in the next one.